Oh, and once again, so this past weekend, I was on Facebook on one of the local Mustang Club sites, and uh, a lady was giving away a box of Mustang magazines and Ford V8 magazines, mostly from the 90s. And I thought, well, that's a pretty good because I wanted those and I really liked those magazines way back when. But what I did was, is I had to drive 40 minutes each way to get these. And I had contacted the lady and she said that it was her late husband had a Mustang and it's actually for sale. Very nice looking Mustang. But she had a box of these magazines and thought that it would be great that uh, somebody could be able to have these. And I was more than happy to take them because I've been wanting to get some of those old 90s Mustang magazines, the one that had the Fox bodies and the SN95s, and kind of take a step back in time and take a look and see what people were doing to uh, upgrade them 225 horsepower ponies that we have. So today I'm, I'm only going to go through the Mustang themselves magazines. I'll do the Ford V8 some other time because otherwise it's going to be way too long of a video and probably bore everybody to tears. So that'll be two different ones. So let's take a look and see what these magazines are. And I haven't really looked through these. I looked at the top ones. That was it. And uh, the first one, of course, has two beautiful convertibles on it. And let's see what this is from March 1997 Mustang Illustrated. And if anybody sees one of these magazines and kind of remembers them, I'll, uh, I'll actually do a video of just that magazine. If you want to see what every page is like, we'll go ahead and do that. Maybe that would be kind of fun. So, like I said, I drove 40 minutes each way to pick these up. And uh, happy I got them. Here's a Mustang Illustrated. So, Holiday Gift Buyer's Guide. Let's see, what year is this from? This is January 1997. And it's really cool just going back and, and looking at these. And I remember these. And I'm gonna I'm probably going to read reread every one of these from, uh, from so long ago. Let's see. Mustang Illustrated. Back to school special. See, this looks like probably September of 97. I'll show you what the back looked like on this one. Oh, that's a beautiful car. And these, of course, were my favorite price free. There's an SVO. Look at them wheels. Wow. Those were pretty cool. So this is November 95. Muscle Mustangs and Fast Fords. The Calendar Girl 96 Mustang Illustrated. So this must be January, I'm sure. Yes, January 96. And from what I remember, these didn't actually have calendars in them. There's a two. Yeah, I don't see any calendar in here. So it's kind of funny that they've got Calendar Girl 96 and no calendar. Here's May 97. I think that's that color that goes from purple to blue. I actually saw one of these. It wasn't a Mustang, but drove by where I work uh, yesterday. Yesterday or the day before. And it actually, uh, you could see the change of colors really cool on that. Let's see what the back of this one is. Nice old pony there. Nice wheels on that. Another Mustang Illustrated. Party down. So this is obviously July 1997. Now if you had seen one of the videos that I did at a, from a car show, there was a lady that had, if this is a 70, and I forget to, how to tell the difference between the 70 and the 69, but uh, she actually had this one. Beautiful car. All original too. Here's another Mustang Illustrated. Carroll Shelby 
fifth birthday blowout. And this is, uh, looks like May of 98. Mustang Illustrated Summer Shows, California, Colorado, Georgia. I like how they kind of split that. That's what, November of 95? Let's check out the back of this one. Ooh, that's nice. That's Celine. Mustang Illustrated. P-51s and pony cars meet in Florida. I'll definitely have to read this one, see what part of Florida that's from. And that looks like July of 98. Another Mustang Illustrated. Do-it-yourself air conditioning for 69 to 79 air ponies. March 98. Mustangs and Fords. Look at that. Pink one there. That's nice. I see this one is May of 1995. Here's a Christmas issue of Mustang Illustrated. So January 1998. Probably did come out in December, though, I'm sure. And yes, this is how you used to order your parts from a, from a magazine. Let's see what some of these prices are. Council housing, $189.95. And this is 1998. That'd probably be about $400 in today's money. The paddock. Mustang Illustrated. This one's September of 1998. If you like me, I just love these old magazines. Fabulous Mustangs and Exotic Fords. It's another SVO, I believe, right? And that's January 1992. SVO or SVT, I forget which one's which. Mustang Illustrated, Directory 98. Look at that. It's July 1998. Oh, we got another calendar girl. Mustang Illustrated. I wonder if I still have a chance of winning that, Celine. December 94. Mustang Illustrated. Oh, well, how to, uh, that's probably pretty interesting. How to turn your coupe into a convertible. May 1995. With more color pages. Mustang Illustrated. Still got a chance to win that 95 saloon. September 1995. Mustangs and Fords. November 1995. Stock versus modified. This is a cool cover. This is so 80s, early 90s color. Look at that. I wonder what year that is. February 92. JBA nose headers. Gotta give it to those JBA guys. They definitely know those headers. Mustang Illustrated. Look at that. And look at that. Wow. X sends X. 
September 1996. Mustang and Ford's do-it-yourself mods. It's July 96. Mustang Illustrated. It's October 1998. It's a beautiful Mach 1 there. Actually owned a Mach 1. Never got it, never got it running. Had a little shed. And I'm talking like mid 90s. Had a little shed. Towed it from uh, Fort Walton Beach to when I lived in Navarre. And um, sat there and I would just sit in it. Never could get it to start nothing. I actually ended up selling it and the guy told me it had a blown head. And uh, he was like, did you know that had a blown head? I was like, dude, I never even started that thing once. Fabulous Mustangs and Exotic Fords, March 1991. Start Fords. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, you can get a catalog for three bucks. Kind of miss the days of getting catalogs. Wow, look at that big hair. Beautiful. March 1996. By 96, the big hair should have been gone, but I guess they were still using it. Mustang Illustrated Summer Shows Vintage Racers. November 96. Oh, another Muscle Mustangs and Fast Forwards. Your 5.0 and 4.6 source March 2004 Mustang Monthly Shelby Survivor There's another yellow Mach 1 I'm Trying to figure out what when this was oh here we go November 2012 so it seems like the range has so far been from uh, 92 to 2012 it's an SN95 it would be kind of cool if one of these had a poster in it I'd probably pull it out and get it framed And just a reminder, if you see one of these and you had it and you remembered it and loved it and want me to go through and do a whole one again, just on that, I will. 5.0 Mustang and Super Fords. This is September 2005. 5.0 Mustangs and Super Fords. October 2005. I still think those those with those lights are just beautiful. Makes it look like the old bullet car. And that's it. That is the end of the Mustang. So, not bad. Got a lot of fun reading material. Can take a look at these. Maybe there is a cool poster in one of these. I don't know. But if there is, I will probably get it framed. So I hope you enjoyed this. Just wanted to share the magazines because I've been wanting some of these from the 90s. And you don't see them because most people just throw them away when they get done reading them. So, And then the other half of this box was V8 Times. Which is, uh, this really seems like this magazine. I've never even seen this one before. But it seems like this is more geared towards the older cars. Yes, definitely. All right, so we'll do a video of those. So I hope you enjoyed it. Everybody take care. And thank you once again.